Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Battle.net in 2024. So today we're stepping up your account security by exploring how to enable the 2FA or two-factor authentication on Battle.net. With 2FA, you can add another extra layer of security to your Battle.net account, safeguarding your valuable gaming progress and informations. So join me as I guide you through the process of enabling the 2FA on Battle.net in 2024 so let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser go to this url section just type simply battle.net and hit the enter button then go to this first link so we just go back in here maybe they have a problem at the moment let me just go back to after a minute so maybe they have a problem at their website at the moment so for me i'll just go and click on login right away but to show you like how the home screen main screen will look like i'll just simply go to button.net on ikugunito i don't know it's working on ikugunito as you can see and not working on the normal one so basically you'll find yourself in something like that you'll have to click on your account at the top right corner click on login to login at your account and once you click on login you'll find yourself on the same page that we are in here right now so if you have an account, make sure to log into it. If you don't, click on create a free Battle.net account. As you can see, for creating or logging into your account, you'll find some options here that will help you to go through this very easily, like Google, Facebook, Apple, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, or Steam. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account, as an example for me, I'll just here go and choose Google, choose my account in here, and click on continue to give them of course access to my account and for me of course i'm already like uh, i have an account i just click uh, like on create by mistake so for me i'll just go and click on use login and i'll have of course to login into it instead so wait where's the, the google like disappeared so let me just go back seems like i'll just go back and click on continue Okay, so I'll just do that from the beginning and I'm coming back once I'm logged in into my account. So basically, once you're logged in into your account, as you can see, you'll find yourself on the same page with yourself, as you can see, or the logged in. So if I click here on login, I guess I should be like already logged in. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, once I logged in into my account, I'll find myself on the same page, but with my account right here. So all I need to do, what I will need to do is simply go to the top right corner and go and click on account settings. Once I do so, I'll find myself on the account settings right away. So as you can see, complete your account. You'll need some extra information to complete the account before continuing. Don't worry, it will take long. So click on continue. I'll have to set up a password. So let me just go and set up a password as an example and click on continue. And yeah. So here's an example. Once you click on the accounts and account settings, you'll find yourself on a page like this. What you'll need to do is simply go to this last panel and click on security. So of course, they ask me first of all to... Uh, to verify my uh, like email so i'll just go here and try to verify the email so no i can't log it in like what's this email for okay so it's fine i'll just do it later so as you can see here on the security option you have uh, like some options to enable the 2fa so they have the password which is the normal option and they have the battle.net authenticator which is if you want to add up your phone number as you can see you'll be able to prevent any unauthorized logins with an easy one-click verification using the battle.net's mobile app and you must first add a phone number before you can catch an authenticator to your account you can use that option and you can even use the secrets question as an example as a 2fa option which is you can select it from here and simply answer it as an example let's say like i'll just go here and click on select the security question like maybe what is the what was the first car that you owned and simply i'll just type test in here and click on save as you can see it is added of course you can click on updates in here and update that uh, question as example like what is the first video game that you beat so you're basically able to answer that or you can choose whatever question that you want and make sure that you remember the answer that you entered around here of course as you can see they have some questions like what are uh, what was the street you lived in high school where was the first place you flew uh what was the name of your second bet and what is the name of your favorite sport team or players example say here and go and do i don't know tests again so 
and click on save so as you can see your secret questions and uh, are there and saved so of course as we see uh, as we said we can uh, update the password we can add the phone number as example simply add the phone number in there click on continue and you'll be able they will send you a code to your phone number enter that code right there and it will be added of course uh, right here they will even tell you to go and download the battle net app mobile app so as an example i'll just type here battle uh, net so mobile app to show you just what you should download as an example so this is going to be their app so you'll have to go and download this make sure to go and download this log in into your account and yeah you'll be able of course with one single click uh, to any login or authorize anything with one single click on your phone so as example you'll be able to even to access security from there and do whatever you want so this is going to be the icon of the app like battle.net and this is going to be the name of it of course battle.net so yeah that is how to enable the 2fa as you can see you have password which is normal option that every like uh, app website has we have this battle.net authenticator their own app and we have here the secure question and of course here you can even find some recent uh, like login uh, activity as an example if you like notice uh, a login from somewhere else that you don't know you can simply click on logout from all devices to log out uh, everyone then log in on the device that you own really and yeah like that's it so here of course you can enable or do whatever you want on the settings and you will be basically good to go so there you have it you successfully of course understand and enabled the security or the 2fa or two-factor authentication of your battlenet account of course in 2024 so with this 2fa activated in your account your gaming progress and informations are now better protected so make sure to keep your authentication method safe and enjoy a more secure gaming experience with battle.net so if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more help or stories like this one. Of course, don't hesitate to access or contact the support if you have any issues during this tutorial or just leave whatever you encounter in the comment section. I'll try to help you as soon as possible. So thank you for watching again and I'll catch you in the next video. So thank you for prioritizing your account security and goodbye.